What is going on fam? Dar Sizzle here and I've got Brian and Connor with me today and today is a beautiful day in South Florida. Beautiful. Can't complain. We just had a torrential downpour the last two days so dumped a ton of fresh water everywhere. Double storm Emily sucks. Yes, but we are <laughs> headed offshore and we are, today we've got a little challenge going on. I guess it's a challenge. It's a cook and catch, it's not a challenge. Well, the challenge is if we're going to catch a fish or not. Yeah, <laughs> but the challenge is the challenge whatever is first fish we can catch that's legal and we can actually keep it, we are going to eat that fish, whatever it might be. The first one? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Guaranteed. So All right. All right. All right, here we are. You can see there's a, a drift boat coming by right here. Where is it? Right here? There you go. But uh, so someone was mentioning the other day, you know, trying to tell people how we plan our trips a little bit more. And I thought we did that every video. <laughs> but uh, it's after Tropical Storm Emily. So anytime after a big front like that, it's kind of a clean slate. You don't know what the heck's going to be going on out here. Okay. And plus the ocean's flat calm. It's not generally good, not generally good for fishing. All right. Uh, for at least for pelagics, which is the big fish we're trying to catch. But uh, we're just trying to catch a fish so we can cook it and, and do a cook and catch. So we stopped. I immediately put down, put out a dead sardine on just a little circle hook out here. I got Connor. He's got the chum out. All right. So anytime you put chum out, Wolf Shore Palm Beach County, you're probably going to catch something at least. All right. And uh, so that's where we're going right now. Darcy's going to put down some bottom lines using a standard uh, knocker rig or mutton rig with a long leader. We're in 125 feet of water. We can see it's pretty, pretty close to shore. And uh, let's see what happens. Sizzle, you have anything to add today? What do you guys? Anything special um, going on with you over here today? So hopefully uh, we don't get wrecked by like a ton of kingfish or sharks right away because we want to catch a good fish first. Well, a kingfish wouldn't be bad. We could eat that good. But so what, what size leader are you going to start with today, Darcizzle? Um, I think I'm going to start with a 30 pound fluorocarbon leader. I usually resort to that first um, because 30 is in between 20 and 40. <laughs> and she probably, she was, she's a math first. major at a public high school yes. in the Florida, so excuse the... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, Connor. Connor's having some lunch. What are you having over there, Connor? Roast beef. Roast beef. There we go. Having he's his having lunch slash breakfast. He's having my, already having my roast beef sandwich roast. for breakfast. And Second <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> so these two have been walked, watching these morons on YouTube. What, what are their names? Jake and Paul? Morons? Oh, oh, oh my. Hey, yo. Good morning, Logan. What's up? Now a lot of people are not going to like you. because. Oh, all right. Well, anyway, they're good, great YouTubers, but I don't like them. They're too much for me. What is it, Logan, Paul, Logan? Yeah, the Logan with Logan Paul and the Paulers with Jake Paul. All right, so I guess she's a Pauler, a Loganer. I'm not either. What I don't have any of the merch. I got my own merch. <laughs> All right, here's an impersonation of Silent Frank. Perfect. Hey, doing Go. A Go. We went right under the boat. Wow. I'm actually still in the middle of rigging. I just took a bead out of my mouth. Over here. Ooh. Fish is active. Ow! That, that's gonna be a bruise right on my shin. Ooh, this is a solid fish. All right, it's a bonita. That's kind of what I expected. But we got fish in a boat now. We may have to eat this stupid thing. <laughs> but also, it's good for shark bait. All right. Maybe not. I don't know. Let's find out right now. Now it's digging. Big old runner. Jesus. Louise. These guys are big. You swallow that over. Well, we gotta eat him too. <laughs> no. <laughs> Isn't he any better than a bonita? Come on, people, what do you say, Sir Brian? Eat the runner? I don't know. Don't ask them, they're gonna say yes. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna try this runner too. I know Control Chaos ate one the other day, so we'll throw this in the trash bucket of crap I gotta eat today. <laughs> you got a fish? I got a fish. Let's see, you got a bonita? I don't know, I hope not. I see a lot of head shakes going on there. We're gonna find out. We, Usually that's a telltale sign of a bonita, but we are a little further out. We've moved location slightly because the other the other spot we were in was just producing bonitas and runners. So we're looking for something a little better. Hopefully we can get something decent. Let's go Marine, reel. He's reeling. That's a Max L08 off. reel we're using here. I don't want to pop it off. Tough line braid, 50 pound, and that's a Max Hill rod color. too. It's pretty nice. Like a what? Okay, watch. Slow down. Slow down. He's... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's a keeper. Oh my gosh. I'm wrapped in lines. Oh yeah. You got a keeper, buddy. Good job. We're using our C deck ruler. 
And now the new regulations, they have to be a, six, um, a minimum of 18 inches total length. This guy is right on the button, 18. Move it, Connor, let's go. I'm trying to get it, Connor. Dude, out of the way. Always in slow motion. Let's go. Let's right, see. Let's see. Good oh, stop, job. Real. Right, right, real. Real. Wait, 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 can you put it up like this and reel? Come on. Is there a fish there? Yeah, there's a fish there. Good job. <laughs> All right. I had this line. I had a big runner out on here on wire, and so we're gonna see what happens. It could be a, a decent fish. It's probably a bonita, but we'll see what happens. Oh, what's going on, Sizzle? All right, we got a shark on. I'm losing line on my other rod. You can see they're both flying out at the same time. I'm about to lose so full, this. both lines. Take this, Connor. We have to break them off. I got this. I think I'm, I'm clear. I think I'm clear. No way. I'm getting I'm line too. Fish on. What? Oh. I felt oh. the fish on this one. I'm already too. tired. <laughs> this is line? this is lit. What would Jake Logan say? <laughs> this is lit. This is lit. Bah! No. <laughs> Savage lit. Maverick! That's my boy! Go to LawShow.com! Slash hashtag in the description. Oh, we are. We are. Bubba Blade cut. See, this happens on our boat too, guys. Don't worry. This is fishing. Never a dull moment. So, shark, wahoo. I don't know this. <laughs> anyway, big creatures out here. We out of here. We caught. Darcy caught a bonita. I caught a runner. Kind of caught the mutton. And I also caught a trigger fish, which is great eating. So we got off, we got we did pretty good. We got a, a, a trash can slam, except for the mutton, which is awesome. And we're going in. Back at the house, it's now time to go ahead and fillet the fish that we caught today. And uh, it's a super hot day out here, so I want to get this done fast and over and done with, and so that way we can cook because I am starving. So let's open my cooler here. But we've got the nice, pretty mutton snapper. We've got the runner, got a trigger fish, and then we have the bonita on the bottom of the flag table here. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and fillet this trigger fish for you guys. And um, actually just show you real quick how I fillet these guys. And um, just so you know, down here in Florida, the minimum length to the fork is 12 inches in order to keep one of these guys. And I know a lot of people catch them quite frequently. And you know, the, one of the big things about them, a lot of people throw them back because they're such a pain in the butt to fillet. They have this tough, tough skin. It's like, it's, I don't even know, it's like almost impenetrable. And it's a pain in the butt to fillet if you don't have the proper knives. So today, I'm gonna to be using two knives to fillet this trigger fish. I just received this brand new nine inch serrated bubble blade knife, which I'm gonna be using, and that's gonna get through the skin, no problem. And then I'm gonna use my seven inch tapered flex bubble blade knife after I initially make the cut. So I'll see, show you what I'm talking about real quick here. But these guys are super delicious eating, if you didn't know that. And um, you should never pass them up. If they're, if they're legal fish, I would suggest you keep them. And then I'll show you how to fillet it right now. And the first cut I'm gonna make is with the serrated knife, of course. But you see the trigger? This is that trigger, that cool thing that sticks up on these fish. And you're gonna line it up before the trigger, right there. And you're gonna line up your knife right about there. And you're just gonna make your first cut. Just like that, perfect. And then, I'm, what you wanna do now is take your, my seven inch tapered flex, and what I'm gonna do here is right at the top of the cut, I'm gonna go underneath the skin. So I'm cutting this way, underneath the skin to get through that tough, tough skin they have. Just like that, all the way down. Just cut the tail. And that's gonna make your life so much easier. So let me show you. Now all you gotta do is just flip this up and cut the rest of the meat off. I also have a bunch of how-to fillet videos as well. I'm not going to show you how to fillet the mutton snapper in this video. I have a video already on how to fillet snapper you can check out. And I'll go ahead and link it down in the description below, the playlist for how to fillet fish, just fish in general. I've got a bunch of different videos, so check that out if you're interested in how-to videos. So, get that last piece off. Really, really tough, and it'll, they will dull your knife real quick. So if you use the proper knives and use the proper tools, you'll get the job done easy. So now I've got this, you see that meat? Look how awesome that meat looks. It's gonna be delicious. Can't wait to cook it. So what I'm gonna do now is just take my uh, tapered flex, and I'm gonna go ahead and just run it down at a 45 degree angle, pinch the end, edge of the skin just like this, and it's gonna get underneath that. Oh, it's already separated, nice underneath at a 45 degree angle and then run it all the way down. And you can see I'm just holding on to the skin as I run it down. 
just like that. That's one fillet down. And there's just a little bit of a, uh, all fish in general, once you fillet them, they have a little bit of pin bones right here in the middle, so you can feel them and kind of cut around those. There's some more here. All right. And now, as you may have seen in my other videos, but I have a salt water right here. And I bring this salt water from offshore a lot of the times. Today we actually made our own salt water. You can do the same. This works well with freshwater and saltwater species. It has something to do with osmosis. It's better to soak your fish in salt water to get it clean. Do not rinse off your fish in fresh water. That's a big no-no. Um, so there we go. I got, I got all the fish laid out now, and I just want to show you, because of course we have four different varieties of fish we caught today, and we're going to be trying them against yeah. my better judgment. Yeah, <laughs> and we've already got a hungry piggy in the area, and we haven't even started cooking. You this know who a, it is? A, a, a little piggy. She's looking for food right now. <laughs> she wants food. That's Sadie. Anyway, she, she's going to be begging the whole day. But uh, All right, so let me show you these types of food we got. All right, so number one, the best looking one is actually the trigger fish. Yes. Look at this nice white meat. Very nice. Then the mutton. Look at this. Everybody loves mutton. Looks good, right? We love mutton snapper. We It's always a delicacy when we catch those two. Yeah, it's so. one of my favorite fish. Yeah. Everyone loves mutton. And then we got... Now you can see it's like more reddish in it's color. It's still white though. It's not too bad. It's white, but <laughs> there's more red than white. The other two look much better. Then the, we get to... Well, this is this is the runner. Blue runner. Yes, all right? blue runner. And then we got this disgusting mess over here. Bonita. I only got yeah. a little piece. The rest we're going to use for bait. All right. Yeah. Now, when I'm making tacos tonight, now let me just tell you, you know, we're pretty simple. Okay? And the main recipe I always use, I'll pick this up so you can see me. The main recipe we always use is that sauce. And I'll put that link, is it my left shoulder, right? I don't remember. Yeah. I don't know. Put the <laughs> link There'll in the be corner. a link on one of these corners. In the corner. And it's right here. And th that's the sauce I usually do. I got it from Dave Hickson. It's a delicious butter and cream sauce can't go wrong, all right? Yeah. But we're going to mix it up a little bit today because we already did that. Mm -hmm. So next thing we do, because I'm fat, is we just kind of put it in a pan and, and saute it, all right? We, butter makes it taste the best, all right? And, but you can't put the heat up that high. Yeah. This is a very simple recipe, guys. Very We're simple. Crazy. It's going right? to be delicious. It's so. going to be good. And plus, we want to taste the fish. I want to taste, you know, the different types. Uh, so I'm using butter today because I want to make, try and get everything to taste good, especially the runner and the bonita, all right? Um, next up the level for me would be coconut oil and we use that a lot and then olive oil that's when you really want to kind of almost fry it and make it crunchy that's my oven going off and uh, like if you want to bread it okay but again I'm, I'm chubby and old and I'm not beautiful look beautiful like Darcy mm. so I we're gonna we, she we take it easy a little bit she just adds more cheese <laughs> I don't want to cheese the fish on your tacos you add cheese yeah <laughs> Yes or no? I'm not sure. <laughs> all right. So we're going to get that going, and we're going to get the, all the fixings. And we're just going to put it in there straight. But, you know, you can put salt and pepper and some sort of magic seasonings or blacken it, no, yeah, chili we're powder. Gonna do that. Yeah, we're going to do that. Yeah, so whatever. Yeah. Um, so let's get to it. Okay, I have now, you can see, all seasoned all the different meats. We're going to do the bonita last. That just makes sense. And we're gonna do eat by each species. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put these in the in the uh, pan here. Yikes. And we're gonna just go ahead and saute these, like we said. But um, I know a lot of you guys say, you know, I don't cook and all this stuff. And you know, I do a lot of work around here. And I just want to say, I usually leave the cooking up to Brian uh, because I'm not like the biggest into cooking. I'd much rather fish than cook. So, Brian usually likes to cook the fish, but I will cook fish too. It's no problem. I know how to cook, guys. Just so you know. Are you what? Are you serious right now? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm gonna put this on. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna we're gonna do a two sides, uh, two minutes each side, correct? Something like that. Yeah. Depends yeah. on how thick it is. I usually put a timer on, cause that way I don't forget. Yeah. But yeah, basically, you wanna just I'll wait till it gets white on the side, 
And then you flip it. No big deal. Or you just saute in this. Okay, just want to put this uh, splatter pan thing on top there. And if you don't she, use those, she, those are really helpful. She yells at me about that. Brian likes to make a big, big mess of the oven here in the whole kitchen area, so I got to clean it. But, yeah, I do. You don't clean it. And uh, I just got a cookie sheet right here, as you can see. And I put some paper towels on it. And this is a cooling rack, a metal cooling rack. It's pretty sweet. It fits perfectly. And this is awesome for any type of any, anything you're frying, not just fish. But it makes it extra crispy. And if you put it on a paper towel, it actually takes away the crispiness and soaks out all those douches. So putting it on top of a cooling rack is actually very beneficial to your food. And I will leave it down in the description if you're interested in a cooling rack or one of these splatter things. Ooh, we're going to get a pots and pans sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just common household things that I want to inform other people about if you didn't know. We can't get a bikini sponsor. Maybe we'll get our cooling rack Yeah, sponsor. we can't get a bikini sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> things going off. Let's see. All right. I think they can go a little bit more. Well, you yeah. flip it. No, no, no. We have more on that side. Okay. Generally with fish, it's 10 minutes per inch. These are very thin, so we're not going 10 minutes. But yeah. Where's the flip? You ride on the rack? All right, so that, that looks pretty done. Um, now, I'm going to tell you, you, you obviously don't want to overcook fish because it just tastes like crap. Now, especially with like dense fish like tuna, wahoo, swordfish, not that I catch any swordfish, but uh, you certainly you want to like undercook those, otherwise, you're just going to get real tough, especially if it's frozen. As far as our uh, other ingredients go that are going to be in the taco besides the fish, uh, condiments, I guess, I've got chopped onions here, you can see. I've got some shredded lettuce, and then we've got our salsa. We're very simple. We don't, we don't get too crazy with this as well. Um, and then we also, I've got my cheddar cheese. I like cheddar. I'm going to go ahead and shred this really small. And um, I've been using, actually, my chef's blade, my bubble blade chef's blade. It's really, really sweet. Check it out. Bow blade chef's knife. Really awesome. I really love it so far. Just started using it in the house a couple weeks ago, and it's awesome. So I love my paper plates, too. That way I don't have to dirty real plates. All right, now I see this blue runner. It's got this white along the edges. Now, that's, for me, that's good to flip. <laughs> Feeding the dogs. They're not dying. They had some fish, so that's a good sign. <laughs> All right, now we're going to put on a bonita. I should have put seasoning on it. You did put seasoning I on it. I did a little bit. Oh. No, I don't know. I'm just like taking a bite or two. I'm not getting crazy over here. That might need... Oh. Good job, Ryan. I smell it. Pouring butter all over the house. That might need more butter. This is what I mean about a mess, guys. <laughs> okay, I think these are done. You see how brown they are? I'm not that excited. But, uh... <laughs> what do you think, Sizzle? That doesn't look good, man. That doesn't look good. <laughs> no. Ugh. And we have the fixings over here that Darcy was showing you. All right, which you make, you know, you put whatever you want on a taco. That's yeah. not like part I mean, of a cooking you catch. tomatoes and cilantro yeah, you do what you, you do what you and want. go all out, beans. Yeah, I keep it simple, okay? Yeah. I just put like lettuce and cheese and yeah. some sauce. Yeah, I just showed them before. I got guacamole and salsa here. Mango, all right, so they salsa. know. So. so we're gonna make some plates and I'll talk about the tortillas a little bit, okay? I, I, I like to heat the tortillas up in butter on the stove really quick. Comment below, hard tacos or soft tacos? Very we important. We like our soft tortilla tacos. Yes. yes, and for the heavy dudes, the old short, I, you know, I discovered I'm not overweight, I'm too short. The yeah. issue is my height, it's not my I weight. See. All right? If I was six foot. It's very much taller than him. <laughs> anyway, so I've been down with the corn tortillas lately. All right? These are what, corn tortillas, you get them in the store, any store, no problem. They're, they're a little bit better for you, okay? Yeah. That's that. So we're going to heat them up in the oven real quick. I mean, on the stove. And then we're going to make some tacos. Let's go. ready i am starving i actually haven't eaten anything yet today because i've been so busy 
with fishing and all this great stuff. So, um, Connor, anyway, ate my, Connor ate my sandwich on the boat. Cleaning I'm fish. Too. Oh, yeah. You obviously know Connor's not here anymore. He left a long time ago <laughs> after work. fishing. He works at Publix. Okay. So I've got my tacos here with the good fish, the mutton snappers and the trigger fish, because I know that's good. But I put on a separate plate uh, my, my blue runner, and then this is the bonita. And I only put a little tiny piece bonita because... Uh, so let's, try, yeah. let's try the blue runner first. So let's try it. And he's got it on his big plate. Yeah. All right. I'm just taking... He just eats with his hands. He's crazy. I'm um, uh, like a... Uh, I think this is the, actually the blue runner. Yeah. Hmm. It's got a bone in it. Uh-oh. Um, My bad. That's a big bone. Mm. That's not bad. The blue runner is actually not that bad. I'm pretty shocked. It's not bad. Not well, what, does it what fish does it taste like? I would say it's similar to a. Uh, what does it taste like? It, it, it's not that fishy. No. It's slightly oily. No. It's really good, actually. It's pretty I, good. I, I gotta tell you, I'm pretty shocked. It's good. It's good. I would say. Run is good. It's similar to a snapper, to believe it or not. Yeah, I mean, Very we cooked similar. It, we cooked it in butter, and yeah. we have spices on it, so. You know. Yeah. But that's all fish. All right, let's try the uh, that bonita. That's good. good. I like that. Thumbs up, Blue Runner. Nice. Thumbs up on Blue Runner? Definitely. Thumbs up. Definitely. Bonita. This brown fish. Oh, God. It's even hard to cut. <laughs> Not that good. <laughs> it's chewy. It's like dark meat. Yeah, it's like you're eating like it's you're eating the bloodline of like a no, snapper. It's not or that bad, but, but see it. It's definitely like really chewy. Not in, the taste is terrible. Honestly, it's a terrible. lot more fishy and just chewy and like fishy. Really, just and you saw I bled it. Ugh. And I put it right on ice. I don't like that. <laughs> All right, so thumbs down on Bonita. Yeah. All right, thumbs down. Thumbs you agree? Down. All right, so now we're gonna have our delicious mutton and triggerfish. Uh, tacos? Yes. Thanks so much. I guess we're going to wrap it up. That's it. Yeah, well, let's take a bite, I guess, just to let them know that it was delicious. But um, it's delicious. This is, this is awesome. Aww. We love our tacos. Yummy. Yummy. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. Okay. <laughs> well, manners, manners. What's that here. Manners. Talk? manners. He's talking with food in his mouth. Okay. So that was delicious. Thank you guys so much for watching this catch, clean, and cook episode. And if you want us to do more of these, please let us know down in the comments below. Uh, we would love to hear from you guys. And if you want us to, we will do more for sure. So thank you so much for watching. We'll be back with another episode real soon. Check out the links all down in the description below. Lots of information there. And um, until our next adventure, follow, follow your dreams, dreams and, and keep, keep on catching. catching.